Hi, everybody. It's the Baseball Hut. The amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one. The People's Champion. Your host, the Hut. And, of course, uh, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut and like this video. And let me know what you think about this video. We have a thing on the channel here. If you go under my video, there's a little uh, heart with a dollar sign in it. It's kind of like a super chat without being in a live stream. Send me a little donation that'll help the uh, not only the video out, but me out on YouTube. <clears throat> it helps promote uh, this this uh, channel and this video in particular. So I've been doing updates on the trading situation. Obviously, we are now a few days away from August second, <clears throat> and uh, which is six p.m. is the deadline this year on Tuesday. And we had a big trade last night with Luis Castillo. The Mets have made a few trades. The Yankees made a, a interesting trade. But one of the names out there, which the Mets have called about, and that's Shohei Otani. The Los Angeles Angels are a complete mess. Uh, Mike Trout is going to be out with a back injury, something that he's going to have to deal with probably for the rest of his life. They said he's going to have to manage his injury <clears throat> for the rest of his career. So we know players that have had injuries to their backs where they've had to sort of manage it. One of them being Don Mattingly and the other being uh, David Wright. So this this could be the end of the, of Mike Trout as this Hall of Fame player that we remember. <clears throat> now Shohei Otani has been getting calls uh, from other teams, including the New York Mets. Right now, the, the Angels are taking calls, but right now there's no like specifics on teams um, in terms of who's calling. Pretty much everybody's probably calling. Because you'd have him not only for this year, but you'd have him for next year as well. Uh, I don't see him getting moved by the Angels. I don't see the owner moving him, especially if he doesn't have Trout. Now, all the other players on that team, <clears throat> Syndergaard, um, Aaron Loop, all these different people, all going to get moved, I think, because they can't like sustain uh, this disaster that they have there. But if they were to move, Otani would help them because the Angels have no farm system. Their farm system is kaput, it's bad, and it's been bad for a very long time, which is one of the reasons why they've not been able to have any kind of <clears throat> any kind of success. They're not developing any new Mike Trout. They're not developing a Tim Salmon. They're not developing a Garrett Anderson anytime soon. So they are in desperate straits in terms of that entire organization to figure out how to uh, move forward in terms of their farm system just as an organization to be in, going in the right direction. They're not going in the right direction. And because of that, they're going to keep running in place. And they keep signing these bad contracts. The Anthony Rendon contract has turned out to be a disaster for them. <clears throat> I would think that probably the Nationals kind of knew a little bit more about him than they did, obviously. So... Let me know what you think about this video. There's nothing to talk about in terms of the New York Mets. It doesn't seem like the Mets are right now. Or they probably would talk, but I don't even think Otani's getting moved right now. I think he'll get moved sometime in the off season. But uh, let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.